Türkiye de mi yazacak? out watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I'm watching it on my phone. Whew, this workout is super hard, you guys. Oh, I just keep telling myself, I got this, I got this, I got this. <laughs> and then I tell God, like, I just keep praising him and keep thanking him, like, God, please get me through this, this workout for God. These last five minutes for it. Oh, it's not easy, guys, but it definitely is not impossible. For those of you guys who want to lose weight, I've done it before, it's possible. And for those of you guys who want to lose weight again, it's possible. And I'm going to show everyone that it's possible to lose weight again. Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today and God bless you guys. So today's video is going to be me sharing my seven tips on how I get through my 40 minute workout. I know a lot of people always ask me like how do you work out for 40 minutes like on the treadmill like I get so bored after 10 minutes and I'm like girl I got all these tricks that I do to help me get through a 40 minute workout because it wasn't always like that before. Like I would find myself struggling a lot and I did not know how to get through it but now I feel like I've mastered how to get through a treadmill workout yeah how I basically stay on the treadmill for 40 minutes to get my sweat on and get a really good workout in and burn really good calories so that is what I'm here to do today is to tell you guys how I you know get through my 40 minute workout Okay, so my number one tip for getting through a workout is to ask God to help you get through the workout. Like, that is my number one tip, and I feel like that is what you have to do going into a workout, is asking God to come in this workout with you and give you the strength that you need to get through this workout. I know for a fact that I can't get through my workout by myself, and just praying before I go to my workout or in the midst of my workout, asking God to, you know, give me the strength to keep going, or just really having my mind focused on Him really helps me get through my workout don't ever be afraid to ask God to help you through your workout because he is our father and he wants us to lean on him on the times that we need him and weight loss is not any different a lot of people even including myself forgot that I could ask God to help me in my weight loss journey I'm so happy that I remember and I know now like of course he's always there with me even my first time losing 100 pounds I never thought to ask God to help me through my workouts or in my weight loss journey in general I didn't that wasn't something that I brought to God and I feel like a lot of people need to know that they can bring this to God as well too that you can bring any aspect in your life to God and he will see you through so number one tip is to ask God for strength to get you through this workout pray before you do your workout and also too when you do ask him for strength believe that he will give you the strength believe that as you ask it's done it is done already because he could do anything there's nothing too big for God that he cannot do and to get you through a workout he definitely can do so when you ask him believe that he is going to get you through your workout I'm telling you that is exactly Exactly what you'll do is get through that workout. Alright, so my second tip for how to get through a 40 minute workout is to ease into it. Everybody has their ups and downs where they're really heavily into workout and they kind of fall off. So when I fall off or I'm just beginning, I always start off small. I go 15 minutes, then 20, then 25, then 30, then 35 minutes. I don't just blow right into the 40 minutes, you guys. So I know a lot of you guys always ask me, it's like I said again, like, how do you do 40 minutes? And it's not that I do 40 minutes like right when I start my journey. No, I ease into it. At first, I think I did 15 or even 10 minutes. And then I moved from 15 to 10 to like 20 to 25. And then I got up to 35 and then I was able to do 40, you know? So now I'm able to get to my 40. But I feel like in the beginning, I had to ease up to 40. It's okay 
okay to be a beginner. Like I feel like a lot of people, especially if you've fallen off the wagon and you're coming back on, you feel like, oh, I was able to do this before I gotta do it again. No, it, like, you know, your body needs to get conditioned again. And you need to, your mind needs to get conditioned again. You need to get back to where you were slowly. You can't just th shove yourself back into it. And another reason why you shouldn't do that is because you're gonna discourage yourself. If you do 40 minutes right away and you fail miserably or like you are so tired, out of breath, oh my goodness, you're not going to want to come back to that workout. You're gonna be like, oh, this is not for me. Every time you think about the workout, you'll be thinking it's torture, it's hell, and you don't want that. So my second tip is to make sure you ease into that 40 minutes. I did that and it helped me out so much. Within like, I think a week and a half, I was doing 40 minutes and I was so proud of myself. I didn't feel like I shocked myself. Like I felt like, okay, I'm ready for the 40 minutes now. So ease yourself into the 40 minutes, don't just jump into it. So my number three tip, I know this is six. <laughs> so my number three tip is to make your workouts fun. And when I say make it fun, I mean like, I like to listen to music sometimes. I will play my favorite jams. I will make a playlist and I'll listen to my music. Just so you can just have like a momentum going with your walk, you know? Sometimes just hearing the treadmill, it's very, uh, repetitive it's annoying it's kind of just like daunting to just hear the sound of the equipment that you're on so I will definitely say use a playlist make a playlist I like to make a playlist that like will last the exact amount of my workout so I know like once I start that first song and when the last song is done like I'm done too and I'm telling you just the fact that it's upbeat music make sure it's upbeat music you know like something that will give you energy something that will get your heart going something that will get your you know your your happiness going just like your whole mood going upbeat music is the best to play so yeah I would say make it fun play some music jam out this is about you this session is all about you so just have fun with it so this is my number four tip for you guys and all these tips I do okay like literally Monday today is Sunday on Monday I'll be implicating these tips again okay <laughs> so I do these right now because I'm on my journey to losing another hundred pounds again right now okay so number four tip is to cover the time Cover that time, okay? When I would see the time in front of me, all I could look at was the time and how slow every single second was moving. I was like, oh my goodness, this is gonna take me forever. I can't believe I haven't gotten to five minutes yet. I can't believe I haven't gotten to 10. Oh my God, it's only six minutes. Literally, the time would kill me and it would make everything so much more longer. But when I threw something over that like time area that, that showed me the time on my treadmill, everything was like smooth sailing. Like when I would take it off to see just how much I did, I'll be like, whoa, I'm already 15 minutes in already. I didn't even know. I'm telling you, the number four tip to do is to hide that time on the treadmill. If you hide the time out of sight, out of mind, you're not thinking about the time and then behold, before you know it, You've already done like 20 minutes and you're good to go. You got the next 20 minutes left, you're finished. I'm telling you, hide that time, you'll be golden. So my tip number five is to distract yourself with your favorite TV show, okay? Huh. Sometimes that playlist, you know, once you've heard it a couple times, it gets a little boring, I will say. Um, so what I like to do is switch between music and like my favorite TV series. So when I get tired of like listening to the same playlist or whatever, or even if I just get tired of listening to music in general, I like to switch it up and watch my favorite TV show. So right now I'm watching Grey's Anatomy. You guys, I love Grey's Anatomy. I'm watching season 18 right now. And that helps me so much because it works out perfectly. Grey's Anatomy is a 40 minute long uh, TV show, you know, like TV series show. Um, so the show is for 40 minutes and as soon as I press start on that TV show I walk and I don't stop until the end of the show and honestly because the show is so intense I Get to 40 minutes and I'm like wow it's already done already because I was so distracted by what was going on on, the, on my phone Like on the on the show I was distracted with what they're doing all their drama that they're going through sometimes like when your mind is focused into something, you totally forget what you're doing. It's kind of like you're just blindlessly doing it. It's kind of like when you're braiding your child's hair or you're doing something, like making something. If people like to either listen to music or play their favorite show because the time goes by so much faster, you're not really focusing on what you're doing. You're doing it, but you're not focusing on what you're doing and you're, and you're more like just focusing on what you're watching and the time goes by so fast. So definitely, I'd say number five is to distract yourself. Distract, distract, distract yourself. If any time you get tired of listening to music, 
just watch every TV show, girl. I'm telling you, make sure it's like the same length of your workout, 40 minutes or whatever, and your workout will be done in no time, okay? My workouts are done in no time, and I love that, and that makes me so happy. So, yeah, definitely try your best to distract yourself from your favorite TV show. Tip number six, you guys, is to take breaks if needed, okay? Don't ever be embarrassed or don't ever feel like you can't take a break. No, you can, okay? Even if you have to take five breaks, even if you have to take a break every three minutes, okay? Just do it, honestly. Well, I mean, like, try your best to, like, you know, have momentum and, like, you know, and build your endurance and stuff like that. But um, for me, personally, like, I give myself a halfway mark. So, like, once I hit 20 minutes, I take a break. Um, I'll take like maybe a three minute break, you know, I'll just catch my breath, drink some water, and then I'll go back and do the next 20 minutes and then I'll be finished. But I feel like taking a break really does help you get through your workout because um, you get a little bit of a grace period there to just catch your breath and stuff, you know? And I know sometimes people think that, oh, you know, I shouldn't take a break, I should keep going. Yeah, of course, sometimes, you know, you can make little challenges for yourself like, oh, I want to see how, how long I can go or I want to see if I can get through this whole workout without stopping. Like, I definitely have those moments too, but I'm telling you, don't ever feel a shame to take a break if you have to take a break just take your break it will help you rejuvenate yourself you'll get the water you know the h2o you need rehydrate yourself and then get right back at it it's fine and i'm telling you that also makes your workout a lot easier because once you get that water break in you drink your water you take a little break and you start back again honestly for me i feel brand new sometimes like after the middle part when i take my break i'm like okay Whew, I feel good. I know I can do an X20. You know what I mean? So yeah, don't ever feel like you can't take a break. Taking breaks are good. And I feel like that will help you so much into getting your 40 minute workout done or 40 minute plus or whatever amount of workout minutes you do. Take a break. There's nothing wrong with it. It's good for you and it'll help you so much. My last tip for you guys for how to get through your workouts or your just your 40 minute workouts or however how long. I'm just saying 40 minutes because I work out for 40 minutes. <laughs> so how to get through your workout is to work out smarter and not harder. I used to think that for me to be able to like work out and have a really good workout, I would have to kill myself and make sure I'm huffing and puffing and I feel like I can't even breathe. No, that is not what you need to do, okay? Like for instance, me personally, when I work out, I like to do all the way high number 10 incline on my treadmill, but I like to walk a little bit slower. Do you know what I mean? It's still hard. I have to walk up a big hill. Like I'm walking up a, lot, a tall hill but I'm not walking up the tall hill sprinting you know what I mean I'm walking up the hill but I'm walking a little bit slower but I'm still getting that resistance I'm still getting that calorie burn I'm still getting that you know I feel like I'm, I'm actually getting a work on it because I'm walking up a hill instead of me saying like I'm gonna go on a flat hill and I'm just gonna run nothing wrong with running if you like to run run girl I would love to get to the point where I would like to run hopefully one day I could see that but me personally I just feel like you don't have to you know be huffing and puffing I feel like you're gonna like pass out to get a good workout and you don't as long as you're moving your body's moving you know there is some resistance there in your workout and you are challenging yourself that is good enough so so my number seven tip would be to work out smarter not harder you don't have to work out harder to have a good workout you have to just make sure you work out smarter have a plan with your workouts know exactly what you're doing in your workout know what works for you and your body and how you can make the best out of your workout and that will be perfectly fine like there's nothing wrong with that at all all right guys well that is my tips for how i get through my workout how i get through my 40 minute workout like i said you can apply this to any amount of time on a workout you can apply it to a 40 minute workout a 20 minute workout a 15 25 it really doesn't matter an hour it will work for any workout it definitely helped me get to where i am today with my journey i am approaching like almost 40 days in so i've already passed the month through and i've been getting all my my workouts in and done and I know that it will help you get through your workouts as well too so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like like little tips and things like that for me you know since I'm going through um, my journey again to losing 100 pounds right now there's like a little community of us all you know where we're you know just supporting each other and doing this together my last journey I kind of just did it on my own and then I told you guys about it this time I'm doing it with you guys so we can do this together um, just get healthy and just you know live the best life that we can live because life is short and we need to make the best of it and we need to take care of our bodies so if you want to be a part of this um, family of us like just trying to get healthy together please join us I would love that we all help each other and love each other and it's just like amazing it's an amazing community over here so yeah don't 
uh, be afraid to hit the subscribe button <laughs> and um, you know be a part of this growing family comment down below any questions you have anything you want to make a video on um, just comment down below let me know and I'll try to get those videos out for you guys and yeah hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I do upload and you don't miss it and yeah I guess that's it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, and I hope this video helps you because all the tips in this video has definitely helped me and it will continue to help me and yeah okay <laughs> all right guys I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in Bye guys. Okay everybody, that's a wrap.